Hi, this is Chris Jenkins with charlottevibe.com and behind me is where the Carolina Panthers just finished up their 2015 rookie mini camp and from these mini camps there's really not a lot of deep analysis that you can get to you can kind of stretch and try to get some things but it's really hard to do when these guys don't even have helmets they've just been introduced to the playbook and to the carolina panthers and a lot of them are finding themselves and don't know what to do uh, i remember walking back with one of the players and he mentioned that he feels like a freshman in college again where there's new plays new teammates new system so it's hard to get a pretty good idea about things, but it was exciting to see the Panthers getting back underway. A little scary part the first day, Panthers had two sessions, a morning session and an afternoon session. And their first and second round picks, Shaq Thompson and Devin Funches, did not make it through those practices. Even at the end of the second session, we saw Funches get on the cart and get escorted out because he had some cramps. But they were both on the field today, got through some reps, Shaq Thompson had to watch a little bit, which is a little discouraging because Shaq already has the disadvantage of he's going back out to Washington. He has to finish out the quarter. So he, he was really wanting to get through as many reps, even though there's not contacts, but just getting familiar with, as he mentioned, the terminology in the NFL, getting used to this time zone difference, being back over here in Charlotte. Funches himself spoke about getting used to it. It was 50 degrees in Michigan, and it's now you know warm near about the 80s here in practice. So. We'll see what happens with those guys. Um, the other thing that I want to tell you guys about is now that rookie mini camp is over, we're going to have four of the five draft picks. Basically, we're going to have everyone on the show except for Thompson, who's going to be back out in Washington. Give you guys a chance to get a little bit more familiar and up close and personal with those guys. So be sure to look for those videos in the future. Best thing to do for you guys, subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get firsthand knowledge about when these videos are going up. Anytime I have player interviews on the field, which they are up right now, they're only up for 24 hours. So subscribing to the channel, we'll be able to have you the luxury of seeing those videos before they go offline. And lastly, I'd like to hear from you guys on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So this is Chris Jenkins from Panthers Practice Field for charlottevibe.com.